everyone, my name is Elvia Olea. Um, I think I've kind of introduced myself, but I'm gonna go ahead and do so again. Um, I am Mistec, my parents are indigenous from Mexico. Uh, my dad entered the country during the Bracero program. For folks that don't know, the Bracero program was an executive order um, that basically allowed um, the U.S. and Mexico to have a system where young Mexican men were um, were able to enter the country legally for short-term labor contracts. Um, and so my dad entered the country when he was 13, um, and, and ever since then he had been migrating in and out of the, the U.S.-Mexican border. Um, that is how he was able to have children in Mexico and then come here, and he spent the, the majority of his life migrating, and so I feel like my piece is representative of not only um, creating and imagining a whole new world where um, a lot of those colonial constructs do not exist, right? Like um, borders are made by construct. It was something that was institutionalized, created. Um, borders did not exist, right? And so um, for me, well, my piece is called A World Without Borders. Um, and it, signif it signifies the natural and beautiful process of migration. Um, and then it also uh, ties me back to my ancestral roots. Uh, specifically, the mountain signifies the mountainous areas that my uh, you know, ancestors have lived for hundreds of thousands of years um, before the Spaniards came and colonized Mexico. Um, you know, a lot of us who are Spanish speakers, um, you know, this idea that, you know, Spanish is a colonial language as well. Um, and so um, we really are the byproduct of colonization. And so how do we, um, not only reflect on our journeys and our process and our lineage, but also how are we working towards liberation and what does liberation look like? And so when I look at my art piece and, and as I was creating it, it was an emotional process, right? Because for me, it forced me to look at a, to envision a whole new world outside of what I know. And that is a big thing to ask of someone because I think if we ask everybody here individually, what does a place of your own looks like? it's gonna be a hard thing to answer, right? Because then you start thinking of like, you know, um, relationships and, and things in the past and, and things, you know what I mean? So for me, um, that, that was the hard process is trying to envision that. And um, I think something that resonates or a theme that resonates among everyone here is this connection to Mother Earth and to nature. Um, and so I really worked towards creating that. Um, and then lastly, the last thing I will touch on is the um, essence of water. Um, as my work around the Central Valley has been um, around access to, clean, safe, access to safe, clean drinking water, specifically in the Central Valley where we're seeing a lot of uh, rural unincorporated communities um, that are faced with contaminated water. Um, I work with communities in Tulare County the majority who um, have really bad contaminants that are deadly and a lot of those uh, communities are dying off and that's just the reality um, when we think of like water contamination we think of Flint Michigan we think of this like like so far away uh, thing but in reality it's in our backyards it's in our communities um, and it's a real scary situation that um, doesn't always get the recognition or the resources that um, you know, it needs. Um, I'm gonna try to say that in Spanish in the best way that I can. Um, Hola a todos, mi nombre es Elvia. Este, um, es una este, activista aquí en el Valle Central. Este, he trabajado en diferentes comunidades aquí. Um, y el, el, la pieza que yo hice es, uh, es en conexión a la historia de mi padre. Mi padre entró aquí en los Estados Unidos en el tiempo de los braceros. Um, y los que no saben lo que es este, la programa de braceros, es una programa que el Estados Unidos y México hicieron para atraer este, um, hombres o, o muchachos jóvenes para trabajar uh, por casi nada ¿verdad? Este, en los Estados Unidos. Este, y mi papá entró en el, en el país cuando tenía 13 años y este, mucho de su experiencia y este, historia es de él emigrando aquí en el Estados Unidos y en México. So, este, por eso puse esta pieza porque creo que también representa una realidad que es diferente a lo que hemos conocido, especialmente a nosotros que somos inmigrantes más recientes, ¿verdad? 
Este, y también fue en conexión de, las, de mis raíces. Mis papás son de Oaxaca, son indígenas. Este, um, mis papás no hablan español, hablan mixteco. Y so, um, siempre he crecido con, con, con ese saber de quién soy y de dónde vengo. Este, um, so esta pieza también este, me recuerda a, la, a las montañas de Oaxaca, donde son mis padres. Este, y también lo último que quería tocar era sobre um, la situación del agua que está pasando en, aquí en el Valle Central y también en diferentes áreas en todos los Estados Unidos, que hay muchas comunidades um, que sufren con agua contaminada. Cuando pensamos en, en lo que está pasando con el agua, creo que a veces hay un pensar que es, you know, en otro estado, eso es un problema de alguien más uh, o otros lugares en el mundo, pero en la realidad es que muchas comunidades aquí en el Valle Central son impactados directamente por uh, las industrias que están creando este problema del agua contaminación. Um, y ya, creo que es todo. <ríe> Gracias.